Yo, what up? How's it going? So it looks like we gotta go to bed now. Welcome back for the next episode. We're going to retire to our bed and wake up the next day to a whole new world. Learn about we first. Every citizen's duty to Those are like the zombies, the right? And the weavers. The state depends on you. Hello, Corvo. <laughs> I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm drains beneath the building. What? Most likely a weeper. The poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you're asking me. I'd appreciate you investigating. Just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Okay. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend to servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Alright, alright. I'll try that. Thank you. Yo, my crossbow looks dope now, since I got all these upgrades on it. Do I? Um. Oh, there's two runes down here. Those are the bone charts in the room, but there's two runes down here. Yo, look at this. Whenever I switch between stuff now on the crossbow, look. It's just fast like that. Oh, that's so cool. Can I undo this right here? Yeah, I can. I guess I'll just stay up now. So I guess I'm like slowly opening up more and more of the home world. That's pretty that's pretty dope. But where are these weepers? are getting me. I'm being attacked by bugs. Just take a nap. There we go. There. They might be sick, but they don't deserve to die. There's a ruin. An ancient note. Uh, I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Or even again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the re result of our labors here for you to keep, but I accept that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. What is. What's that? Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool. I forgot there's two ruins. Now I can upgrade some. Okay, what? I think I'm going to get the next level. Mm, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to upgrade uh, Blink next. Just so I can go even farther. Because it's probably the... Blink and Dark Vision are probably the two things I use the most. And then I'll save the last rune. I think that's it. Oh, I don't even have to teleport, because I got my double jump. What? Oh, the game glitched out. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Okay. Alright. That was a weird glitch. I, like, I think I was expecting me to teleport. But I didn't. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin. 
Of course, I rescued this dumbass. Perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. He has wide You've ass ears. A of hope, I guess they all do. You've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Oh my god. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they're triplets? they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her. There must be a way for me to make them live. Dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I would assume so. I'm about to kill his brothers. Or they're telling me to anyway. I think, yeah, I got the two ruins and that's all. Oh. Wait, how far can I... Oh, that's golden. wicked far. Not okay, that's patron. really useful. I designed some specialized Corvo. devices for them. Yeah. Yes? I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Yeah, take a drink while you're telling me. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never this guy's did shady. I don't They'll like him. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. What? Please do it before I, I change up. my mind. I, feel, I have a feeling you won't. I don't trust him. I don't. He's just so. It's just an afterthought for me to go kill his brothers. Hey, yo, boss. Corvo, my friend. Pero. Do you need my ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Uh, yeah. I'd like to have a look. Need to make sure I have the maximum amount of bolts I can have. Because I do not want to be scammed out of my mind by that other dude. Alright. Samuel! I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. What? He goes there. So he's no better than his brothers, apparently. Okay, this is a tad bit suspicious, but we're gonna start moving back to the yeah the, the distillery district because that the last mission we went through by the Golden Cat, but the doorway was closed. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You might have to go the rest of the way on your own. Oh, so you're just gonna drop me off at the yeah, exact same spot? The okay. Square. The main thing is to make sure. Oh no. Gets back all safe and sure. Oh, yep. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat if he don't kill you. True. This here's his true. territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. Well, trust me, I know. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Yeah, she does. She's like a up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Watchtower. Oh, they're like giant turrets, if I remember. No! They were just innocent people. Chaos. Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths result in more rats and weavers, different reactions from your allies, and darker final outcomes. Okay. So that's why I'm trying not to kill people. Oh my god. 
Jeez. I need to turn that thing off, like, immediately. The ultimate mistake. Going to take a piss. If you're a guard in a video game, you know that's like the one thing you don't do, right? How the hell am I supposed to know what it's looking at? Death machine stopped working. Now first. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of bone charms around. Golden cat. I think I'm gonna go to the distillery district. Or the the whiskey distillery first. Making our way downtown. Watching fast. Oh! Attention done. Okay. Kinda went a little too far on that one. Hey, I just want to talk, you know. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. Really? Oh, Granny's house. Oh. Oh. Why does he want to talk to me? Hey, hey, hey I that didn't do him? nothing. Yeah. I didn't do nothing, boss. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. Anymore. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted oh, elixir is bad stuff, I guess. No, so it turned them into weepers. It's what they call I oh. So these guys took like some swigs and it turned them into weepers. From the distillery. That's not good. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Alright, so Slackjaw must have a way or some some idea. Because otherwise I wouldn't go to him. He is a villain if I judge your looks alright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the blue tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Alright. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See? Slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security mean. at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone... I don't know who is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. Oh my god. <laughs> I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. <coughs> all right, all right. Sounds fair enough. Oh, are there any... Oh, there's a bone charm here. Should... I'm trying to snag everything I can from this place. Okay. So I'll just... 
Hey, I'll, yeah, I'll do what you ask. Just one, one second. I'll be on my way. I just need to, you know, get that bone charm, you know. Where is there? What about? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. can handle it. I guess there's zombies, right? This is just doing them a favor at this point. <laughs> you about to... Yeah, they're just... Yeah, they're just literally zombies. Smoke, buddy. He's like, I'm asking for a friend. No time to blow a cloud. We got somebody about. No time to blow a cloud. Alright. So, what is this? Bunting. This art dealer, Bunt. Bunting. Oh, it's literally, his name is literally Bunting? Oh my god. Is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall has something worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. Slack jaw. Bunting. Ooh. Ooh. Slack jaw, I don't mean to clean you out, bud, but you're kind of a criminal, so I kind of don't feel bad. Grabbing everything I can. Anything that's not nailed down. What the? Is this? Oh, something for the blueprint. For a gun, but. I don't, I don't use the gun, so. Okay, is that all? Oh. There we go. I said I'd be on my way. Somebody, get over here. Oh, the weepers got out. Oh my god, they all became weepers? Oh no, yeah, they all got out. What? Oh, okay, I thought... I thought the bone charm disappeared. It would have been a little... Drop assassinating. Oh, well, I don't... Kill, so. Sorry, you had to do that to your friends. I. Uh, or your, I guess your former friends, really. So there's nothing else to get here. So I think we can just move out from here. Just get going. What the fuck are you looking at? Huh. Huh. I don't know. Pass, huh? Old town's gone to trash. Alright, so I'm literally going. What? It's one of those guys from before. Why are there so many of them? You gotta go on and do a stupid thing like that. All I wanted was just save. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hey, Griff. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Well, you're not even gonna mention what Good just happened? Good prices, I swear. Good prices, yeah. You inflate hard. But blueprints. 
Lens modification. Okay, so you literally have nothing of worth. Oh, there's a bone charm up there. Check out to see what the bone charm was. Um, bone charm. Drink from fountains. Uh, recharges a small bit of your health. Okay. Well, the stuff I have right now. Move fast in stealth mode. Gain damage by weight for such a small amount of mana. Enemies have a slight chance. Yeah, I don't think I'll, I'm think I'm good with the stuff I have now. Um. Okay, so I'll get that stuff later down the line. But for now, all oh, that long teleport is so useful. For now, I'm gonna head back to Mr. Galvani's, Doctor Galvani's office. It all ties together. So I'm gonna do like I did last time and enter on the top floor. Damn, even with my long teleport, I can't even reach. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. You're good. You're you're fine. You're dandy. You got nothing to worry about. You're just a little unconscious. Now I'm going to pray to God that when I open up this door, <laughs> no one's going to be on the other side. Oh, Dr. Val Galvani's key, which I assume I picked up from the last episode. Or the not the last episode, but the last uh, mission there. I think he's dead, right? Know that. I mean, oh my do we God. have suspects? Yeah, suspects? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving and kill him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of so. the men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to choke both of them out. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see anything. I just need both of you to leave. Or one of you, really. Okay. I choked this guy out. I thought I was gonna have to dart both of them. Just didn't hurt anybody. Just uh, just cutting off all the circulation to your head. It's whatever. Just a little unconscious. You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. Oh, and they found his. Is that a bone charm? Yep. Or a ruin. Where did they, they just had a ruin lying around? Okay. Um. Nothing I really need right now. Okay. I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna knock this guy out. There we go! <laughs> I love Blink. Such a good ability. 
just a little just taking a little nap like all his friends <laughs> making it so they have all one more thing in common alright so I believe yeah the next step no one else is on this floor so it should be 100% safe to go look at the clues last message. Okay. Now I need something to play that last message. Oh. I just need to return it to Slackjaw. Anything else in this house? No, just that one ruin. Okay. Oh, the numbers are still there. 287. Just for uh, giggles, I'll uh, go down. You know, the safe story open, so I, oh, I wonder if I could have con like come back to open it up again. But pretty much the whole house is empty except for like a couple people. And there's no other ruins or bone charms left around, so I think it's safe to call it quits here and move on. But I kind of want to go to Bunting, that guy's house, because apparently he has some good art that I can probably snag for quite a few coins. Why is it doing that? There we go. It's like clipping. Alright, alright. Oh, what? This house is open now. You know what? My attention is stricken. I'm gonna have to do a slight detour. Oh, the door of the art dealer's apartment. Well, well, well. I guess I'll just invite myself in. Come on, Steve. One more try. They wouldn't have such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, it won't budge. Not even a bit. I think I pushed out my shoulder. There. Just, yeah, I didn't want to take any chances. Is there something? A ruin, of course. Now I need to figure out the... Find the combination somehow. Let's try to pick in it. Mr. Bunting, I know you've been waiting for the Golden Cat to reopen. You probably have been suffering, you poor dear. So let me offer you a warm welcome with our lovish reopening tomorrow. I assure you that everything has been cleaned up, top to bottom, after that touch of plague. We're ready to take care of you. Everyone here loves you and half the girls consider you a friend. <laughs> oh, well. Madam Prudence. My god, so... Golden Cat. So, am I supposed to assume that's, that's exactly where he is right now? Bone Charms. It's the Golden Cat. stuff is in there. So, 
I imagine the only person that knows, unless I can find it on the ground, on the ground somewhere, like the safe combination, then I probably need to get it from his mouth. I assume with that letter and everything, he's at the golden cat. seen this painting at my grandmother's place. She wasn't no duchess. Yeah, probably can't even sell it for junk. Not worth the time taking it off the walls. I might go upstairs, see if the mother two found something worth the trouble. I was like, where do you go? literally just the back oh my god it literally cuts a that's awesome slock jaws men he's literally just like trying to fight all of them off like he's trying to fight off the plague granny rags the void the outsider and well pretty much everyone hey, in hey, between hey, wait a bit what just occurred to me how come it's always me who pay for the whiskey Shush up your mouth. <laughs> Here's his last What's words. This? Information for my missing guy. Yep. Let's have a listen. Let's. Blackjaw. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it's taking me so long. What? I wanted to be sure, and what's that? Fire! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Good. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Hmm. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? That's awesome. 
Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as them men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that? Maybe. Now maybe we can help each other out again. Really? I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Interesting. Tell me what you have in mind. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. Yeah, and I the saw. only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my mass friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what it is. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds like a mighty good deal to me. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>